This is the Chat City Interviews from 103.2 Preston FM. And uh, our Foodie Friday today is Easy Cauliflower Cheese. So today's recipe is going to be cauliflower cheese. And very, very easy it is too, because a lot of people worry about white sauces. And this one is made in the microwave. And it's not made with the traditional roux method, where you're going to use corn flour. So you're cutting down on the fat content of your sauce as well. I don't particularly want as much fat in it as as that. And this you can make into a delicious white sauce without the butter content to make the roux. You know, a lot of people worry about growing cauliflowers. Actually, do they really? They, they, they're considered by many people to be difficult to grow. Well, I know in the past we've had good ones and bad ones. Yes. Some of ours have, have opened up too much, so that you... was my fault. Well, I left them too long. All oh, right, <laughs> they were overfed or they well, were underwatered. This, one, this one's and... delightful. This is the one yes. we got from. I've uh, been to Berry Market. Berry Market. And and he's so beautiful. It's a medium-sized cauliflower, and I'm only going to actually use probably about half to three quarters of this in the cauliflower cheese because not everybody. Likes it. Okay, so I in, adore what's it. What's in your right? Sauce? Well, I'm making the cheese sauce first before I uh, cook the cauliflower. Right, there's 500 mils of um, milk, semi-skimmed milk. You can use whole milk or skimmed if you prefer. There's, it's been put into a jug, obviously, to measure it out. But yeah. you, you can actually make it in this jug in the microwave. Okay. So I'm using yeah, yeah, a yeah. litre-sized jug, so, so I can just do it all in this so with no pans milk. or anything. Yeah. But I poured 50 mils of the milk into a smaller jug and I added to that two level tablespoons of corn flour because that's the thickening agent in it and half a level teaspoon to one level teaspoon of dry mustard powder okay. depending on how strong you like it. We like it quite If you like it with a the kick then that's right. More. Then I grated, uh, grated. I um, milled a little black pepper into the milk yeah. put it into the microwave. Right. Uh, I've heated it up and now I've just mixed in the corn flour mixture. And that starts to thicken. And that starts to thicken already, but it's going to go into the microwave now. Okay. Now, this is the point you have to watch it for, because I'm only going to put it on for a minute, but I'm going to stand well back and watch it. Well back. Because <laughs> it'll suddenly start to boil, and it won't necessarily boil over, but it will come quite high up in okay. your jug. And what setting is the... It's on high, it's on and high. it does depend on your microwave. You'll know how powerful your microwave is, so just watch it at this point. But I, I heated it for two minutes to begin with, the cold milk. To get it warm? Yes, yeah, yeah. and you, it won't probably boil by that time. Uh, that's just to get it warm before you add your corn flour paste mixture. But you can tell it's going to be ready any minute now. You'll see it start to rise up the jug, first of all. Yeah, it's going and then top, you see, And you don't want it to, to boil for too long. It's just to bring it to the boil to cook out the corn flour. Because you don't want to spend the next 20 minutes cleaning your microwave. That's right. Now then, I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to give this a nice stir, because it's nice and thick now. You don't want it too thick, but you certainly don't want it thin. Oh, it's probably increased in volume by one and a half times. Now, uh, it's quite thick, and the cheese now is going in. You've grated? So I grated 100 grams of the, the cheese that we bought. Okay. Well, that, the that was gas and Lancashire, Lancashire cheese. It has um, very much the texture and the melting quality of a cheddar, and it's got a real good bite. It's unusual for a Lancashire, because it is. Cheese, Lancashire is usually right, quite, quite crumbly. quite crumbly yeah. or creamy. Right, so I've mixed in about 80 grams of that. I've left 20 grams here because I've also made breadcrumbs out of a thick slice of wholemeal bread. Okay, and that's going to be for your gratin. That's going to the be top. the top, yeah. yeah. So I mix the other 20 grams of cheese, so that's going to go on the top. Now I'm going to leave this to one side while I steam the cauliflower. Okay. Now a lot of people like a head of cauliflower with the cheese on. I prefer Pieces. florets, yeah. so that each floret gets a lot of sauce on it, but right. it's up to you. That's because you're saucy. Because I'm saucy, but, and also part of this is going to be cooked uh, separately, so... Right. So you're going to, I'm going to steam the cauliflower. Yeah, how long for? And I'll steam it for between, well, five to eight minutes, depends how tender okay. you like it. Now, a lot of people will put the cauliflower cheese back in the oven, and it takes about a quarter of an hour to brown. Now, that cooks your cauliflower, right. so be careful. But Good. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm going to, once it's cooked, to my liking, yeah. I'll put it in my, my dish here. Because some people like it hard, some people like it soft. Yes, well, I don't. I don't yeah. like my. I like it just tender. Yeah. So I'll put it into this dish and pour over the sauce. There's a generous amount of sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a lot of sauce. And then I'll put sprinkle the breadcrumb and cheese mixture on, yeah. onto the top, and then I'll grill it on the highest grill setting you've got. 
keep a watch out because it blackens very quickly, sure. but it gives it that lovely. So it's all toasted and brown. That lovely taste that gives it makes it. And that's cauliflower cheese. And that's cauliflower cheese. If you've got a story or an event that you'd like to talk to Huey about, why not email us at studio at preston.fm.